So I'm Alex and I'm the curatorial intern here at Gainsborough's House, working in collaboration with the National Portrait Gallery's National Skills Sharing Partnership Programme. I've been here for nearly six months now and in that time the main projects I've been working on have really been the, the Sancho exhibition but also a stairwell prints display uh, that has been inspired by 18th century print rooms. I'm Emma, I'm the Keeper of Art in Gainsborough's House, which means that I'm responsible for looking after and curating the museum's collections. I've been working on several new galleries as part of a major redevelopment of Gainsborough's House. We've built a big new extension and we've also refurbished the old house where Gainsborough was born. We're currently on track to open early autumn 2022. There's so much that Alex could have helped me with in the lead up to reopening, but I really wanted to give him a project that he could have some sort of ownership over and see through from start to finish. One that he'd have to source display material, take control of the production side of things, do a lot of creative problem solving. Also importantly, one that would have real permanence in our displays, one that he could come back and you know, see in, in, in a couple of years time. I really came up with well, over 200 prints um, for this this display and that, that very quickly had to be whittled down to more about 70 and that proved very tricky. The way I did this was thinking about the shape of the prints, the size, how they work well on the wall and with the, the ornamental borders we actually have on offer. Trying to get a big variety of techniques and subjects and um, hopefully the result will be a really interesting collection of these prints. And that is something that these um, historic print rooms really had. They're all totally unique from one another and based on the preferences of the homeowners themselves. So it really provides an opportunity for us to, to display what we'd really like to focus on and the main, the main areas of 18th century art that are important to us and really create the space of reflection on this period for visitors walking through the house. Pasting prints directly onto the wall historically speaking, was a much cheaper way to display these prints than framing them. And I suppose that's really how it started, but really quickly developed into this almost print room craze between 1750 and 1820 as a real exercise of personal expression and taste. This is something that, that really worked well for us in exploring different aspects of our collection and themes. But also, I suppose, using these print reproductions, uh, we don't really have to worry ourselves with the usual conservation concerns and light levels, meaning hopefully this can be a real atmosphere of 18th century art reflection that can stay up for a good long time. The Sancho exhibition has been a big part of the work I've been doing and the connection with the National Portrait Gallery. And this really allowed me to, to research Sancho in depth, as well as his connections and correspondence through his letters, but also notable um, artists, musical figures and literary figures from the day that he, he was um, conversing with. And really bringing this into the print display and the National Portrait Gallery, even providing us a high resolution image of a Sancho print to incorporate, has, has really allowed us to, to meld these together and create it in a more permanent space throughout the house. This has been my first real taste of uh, actually curating my own project, if you like, and, and seeing it through to completion. And I suppose in this context, it's been a little bit challenging as we actually haven't had the, the house back and it's been um, part of the building project going on. So it's really been a matter of um, coming in here and, and um, taking the measurements back to the office and doing mock-ups there. So it'll be really exciting to see how it all works together in, in the final space. I think we benefited from working not only with the MPG but also their other partners and I'd also say that I've learnt about what more needs to be done in terms of recruitment and encouraging young people uh, from all backgrounds to get into the sector. Well I suppose being part of this skill sharing programme has really given the opportunity to learn much more about the sector through staff at the National Portrait Gallery and learning about their roles um, in the sector and really the pathways that are available to us, but also learning from partner institutions and staff there, as well as the other interns um, that are part of this scheme, and learning what projects they're working on and really to feel, I suppose, a bit of a community and a, a networking opportunity as we all go through um, this industry together.